Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with part 8 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. So I'm going to go in here to my profile, click C++. I'm going to go ahead and open my course. And uh, we just finished basic concepts. So we'll be moving on to conditionals and loops. Awesome. So first one up here is the if statement. So the if decision making. The if statement is used to execute some code, a block of code, if a certain condition is true. So here's the syntax. If, followed by parentheses, condition, okay, then braces, and then whatever statements you want to follow. So, you know, if you reach a turning point in your program and you want the program to do a certain thing, usually you're going to use one of these. So the condition specifies which expression to be evaluated. If the condition is true, the statements in the curly brackets are executed. If the condition is false, the statements are ignored and the program continues with its execution after that if statement's body. So, which choice shows the correct syntax for the if statement in C++? So it would be this one, if, parentheses, your condition, and then braces. Awesome. So, uh, use relational operators to evaluate conditions. So here, um, what the you know, behind the scenes on a low level, what the compiler is doing is it's looking for um, really a Boolean, a true or false value of the evaluation of this expression. So in this case, if seven is greater than four, is that true? Yes. So if true, okay, the compiler says, okay, I'm going to execute this block of code because this re returns to me a Boolean of true. Then just write out yes. Okay. So it's going to output yes. The if statement evaluates the condition, finds it to be true and executes the statement. If we change the greater than operator, greater operator to a less than operator, the statement will not be executed and nothing will be printed out. A condition specified in an if statement does, does not require a semicolon. Okay. Uh, so fill, <coughs> fill in the blanks to compare the variables and print hi there to the screen. Okay. So we'll say if x is greater than y, then print out hi there. It is, so it should print out hi there. Um, Here's some relational operators. We have greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, which is double equals. And if you're familiar with JavaScript, you would see the three for strict equality. And then of course you have not equals to. So this says if 10 is equal to 10, print out yes. So in this case it will. Uh, so which is the correct operator for equality testing? That would be the double equals. Remember one is for assignment and two is for equality. And if you're using JavaScript, three is for strict equality. So relational operators, the not equal to operator evaluates the operands, determines whether or not they are equal. If the operands are not equal, the condition is evaluated to true. So it says, if 10 is not equal to 10, then print out yes. So in this case, it evaluates the false, and this block of code is not executed. So fill in the blanks to compare the variables and print not equal to the screen. So here we have int of x is equal to 10, y is equal to 8. So we say if int of x is not equal to y, which it's not, okay, then count not equal. Awesome. Uh, relational operators. You can use relational operators to compare variables in the if statement. For example, we have integer a to 55, b to 33. If a is greater than b, which it is, then print a is greater than b. So you can use it to, you know, logic, uh, uh, do some logic testing. So fill in the blanks to print the values of the greatest variable. Int a equals 98, b is 76. If a is greater than b, greatest is a. If b is greater than a, then print out um, greatest is b. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for the if statement. Um, that was part A. and part 9, we'll move on to the else statement and then the while loop. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you do enjoy it, make sure to like comment and please subscribe and support the channel it means a lot so thanks for watching guys have a great day and take care